Hey guys, welcome back to Home Theater Guru. So today's Q&A, we've got one from M. Vrastas. I know I probably didn't say that right, but a uh, great informative video as always. I'm not sure what video this was, but do the Atmos angle recommendations in the video. Also work for dedicated rooms with low ceilings, such as mine at six and a half feet. So we're pretty low ceiling. Dolby specs seem to suggest a minimum height of 7.4 feet. So six and a half feet, you know, your ears are three feet, three and a half feet. So I mean, you're three, three and a half feet from your ceiling. So you're very close. There's some issues with sitting this close, but I'm not going to say that I wouldn't do it in this case. Now, of course, you can do the reflecting at most. Uh, it's not going to sound that good if you do that. Your locations, you, you don't really have very good location when you do that. It's kind of just blasting across the ceiling, bouncing back down. It just doesn't sound that good. It would sound better even in this case to have actual in-ceiling speakers. And there's other cases where you're this close, say you're mixing or something like that. You know, there's people sit that close to speakers. And if you can aim them right, you can get great imaging and a great sound. You know, the, the issue is gonna be where you have multiple seats Two seats, you could probably get the sound pretty dang good. Maybe even do some cross aiming to, you know, kind of help make it sound better and a little bit less localized. Uh, but you may not care about more than two seats. You know, one or two seats, you're going to get good sound like this, even though it is very, very close. Again, when you're mixing, you're sitting close to those speakers and you can have some really good imaging and, you know, it can sound great. Speakers are speakers. So if you got a pair up there, I mean, uh, I've had guys play with aiming at most aim just like mains when they're going i mean you can get some great sound out of them people just kind of for some reason think that you just aim them down on the floor they're you know the stepchildren of the speaker speakers out there and they don't pay them much attention but they're really missing out because they're capable of quite a bit especially with dsu they're active like crazy you know action movies being up mixed with dsu they're, they're they're alive they're on fire just as much as every other speaker or surround speaker in the room so i would definitely do it with that height if it was my room uh i am a huge fan of atmos life before atmos it's kind of hard to go back to it after you have it i mean it's a big deal as long as you get the separation if you don't have the separation you know and your atmos are too low smearing to the bed layer you're probably like what's the big deal you get them right it's a big deal. So I would do it just to understand the limitations. You know, you're going to have some issues, but uh, I say go for it. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. If you got any more questions, drop them down in the comments below. And I will see you all next time.